On behalf of the Colorado Community College System, I offer my sincere congratulations on reaching this milestone today. It is an honor to celebrate with you and your loved ones. Graduating college is a feat in the best of times, but even more so during a historic pandemic. I know many of you made great sacrifices to get here. At every turn, you navigated your academic journey with grace, grit, and determination, qualities that will serve you far beyond your college career. And while we have weathered so much together, I believe we have gained a new perspective. Through adversity, we have become kinder, more empathetic, more united. We've been reminded of our values and our purpose, uncovering what is truly important. Nelson Mandela, one of my personal heroes, knew this deeply. He found meaning in struggle, allowing it to propel him forward. Reflecting on his life's work to liberate
On behalf of the Colorado Community College System, I offer my sincere congratulations on reaching this milestone today. It is an honor to celebrate with you and your loved ones. Graduating college is a feat in the best of times, but even more so during a historic pandemic. I know many of you made great sacrifices to get here. At every turn, you navigated your academic journey with grace, grit, and determination qualities that will serve you far beyond your college career. And while we have weathered so much together, I believe we have gained a new perspective. Through adversity, we have become kinder, more empathetic, more united. We've been reminded of our values and our purpose, uncovering what is truly important. Nelson Mandela, one of my personal heroes, knew this deeply. He found meaning in struggle, allowing it to propel him forward. Reflecting on his life's work to liberate and then lead South Africa, a country that had imprisoned him for 27 years, he once said, I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds there are still many more hills to climb. Today, you summit a great hill in your life. By furthering your education, you've mastered the skills needed to make an impact in your field. You've gained the lifelong support of your faculty, staff, and alumni. Most importantly, you've seized the power to transform your life and the lives of those around you. A credential, a degree, represent much more than pages read or hours studying. It represents outstanding focus and commitment and an unwavering belief in yourself. So as you celebrate today, take a moment to pause, breathe, and look back on how far you've come. Soak in the joy of your accomplishments and take heart in the challenges you've overcome. Then, when you've rested, begin your next adventure. Whatever lies ahead, whether it's serving on the front lines of our healthcare system, powering our clean energy future, or launching your own business, we need you. We need your passion, your strength, and your skills to tackle the mountains of challenges before us. And trust me, the climbs will always be tough, but the view only gets better as you climb. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. I'm so proud of you because you worked so hard for this moment. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2022. Uh, we're so proud of you. It really takes so much hard work and determination and overcoming challenges to be in the position that you are in today. And we are all really, really proud of you. Wishing you all the best in the future. Howdy CCA graduates. My name is Chris, and we're all so proud of the hard work that you've done to make it to this great commencement day. And we're proud of where you're going next. Please keep in touch with us because you're a CCA Fox forever. All of us in the library are happy to share in your graduation day and so proud of you too. Good luck on your next adventure. Yay! Way to go, Foxes. We are so proud of you. We're excited to see where you continue to grow and all of the achievements that you're going to be making in the future. Make sure that you stay connected with CCA. We want to know about these future successes. So add us on LinkedIn, add your education from CCA to your profile, and we look forward to being able to stay connected with y'all. Hi, graduates. Congratulations on your amazing accomplishment. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Dream big, believe in yourself, and leave your greatness everywhere you go. You're truly amazing. Congratulations, graduating Community College of Aurora Foxes. This is such a great day and you did it. You rocked it. You are rock stars. Uh, we are so proud of you, and going forward, we hope you will always remember that your time here was really important in your journey. It was important to you, and it was important to us. Remember what you learned. 
Embrace your creative talents. Create a future you desire fearlessly and confidently. Be patient and persevere. My sincerest congratulations to you all. Go forth. Carry forth what you've learned with us, and we look forward to seeing what you do. Graduados, lo consiguieron. Enhorabuena a ustedes y a sus familias. Hi, I'm Mandy Geddes, English faculty, and I just want to say congratulations, graduates. You are a strong, motivated, and persistent group. The fact that you all succeeded through the transition to COVID remote learning and then the transition to COVID in-person learning is amazing. You've shown the strength and wealth of who you are. I can't wait to see where else you'll go. I love you and I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, CCA graduates. You've worked so hard for this moment. You've sacrificed sleep, stressed over exams, Yet here you are, walking across the stage. Never forget how powerful you are. Never forget that you're changing the world. Soak in today, celebrate yourself, and thank the familia who helped make this happen. We're so proud of you. Congratulations to all the graduates of CCA. We're so proud of you. You're gonna do amazing things, and thank you for everything that you've given to our community. It will have a lasting impact. Hey CCA students, it's your favorite director of student life here. I just wanna take the time to say congratulations on getting across the stage. I know that you've worked really hard to get here and your efforts don't go unnoticed. CCA will always be your home and don't forget to come back and visit us at the Office of Student Life. Congratulations. Well, graduates, congratulations. This is a momentous occasion and a great achievement on your part. And it's an achievement that you will that will benefit you and that you will remember the rest of your lives. So again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2022. Best of luck on your future endeavors. Hi, we are part of the Title V team here at CCA. Congratulations, class of 2022. We're all so proud of you. Great job. Hey CCA graduates, best of luck and congratulations. Congratulations CCA students, I'm so proud of you and I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations! And good luck on all your future endeavors. Congratulations! Hey, seriously congratulations on a job well done. Uh, good luck to you in your future endeavors and go Diesel. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you so much for choosing CCA. You will forever be part of our Fox family. We're so excited for you. Congratulations, Aurora Public Schools Ascent Scholars. You all committed to the small but important habits, and that's why you're here today. Don't stop. Keep dreaming, keep trying, keep getting back up when you fall. We're proud of you. Hey, CCA graduates. Hooray for you. What a great accomplishment. I hope you enjoy the ceremony and the day, and I know you're gonna do great things in the future. Good job. Hello, I'm Linda Bowman, a former president of the Community College of Aurora. And I might add, I have family members who have graduated from CCA, this great institution. Congratulations. I hope you reflect back on the time that you spent thinking about going to college and then this wonderful decision you made to follow through. I hope you'll thank your friends and family for their support, but thank yourself as well for making this great decision. It's an investment that you've made that will pay dividends for your entire life, and it will change your life and that of all the people around you. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the Red Foxes. I'm Dr. Judy Diaz Bonacquisti, Executive Director of the Latinas First Foundation, and I wish you a heartfelt congratulations on the next exciting chapter about to happen in your lives. Adelante. Happy graduation, class of 2022. You are a group of persisters in a team that has overcome all the obstacles that the world could throw at you. You deserve all the praise that we can give you. Congratulations. On behalf of the Arapahoe County Board of Commissioners, we want to say congratulations on your graduation. Yay! 
Congratulations, graduates. Uh, wish you all the best. This is Council Member Danielle Jurinsky of the Aurora City Council. So proud of you. Uh, go out there, do big things. I wish you all the best, success, and congratulations. Okay, congratulations, 2022 graduates. I gotta give a special shout out to the Colorado Film School graduates from this year. Uh, this is your chance. Go out and seize your life. Congratulations, CCA graduate. You've made it. With every ending, there is a new beginning. From COVID, through life, through reality, through multiple pandemics, you've decided that today is your day, and we salute you. Again, congratulations. From the Department of Arts and Communication. Way to go, CCA graduates. If nobody's told you, let me be the first. I am incredibly and substantially proud of you. From me to you and all of your loved ones and support system, congratulations and good luck on your next future journeys. Hola, CCA graduados. Muchas felicidades. This is your moment. Know that you're meant to be in these spaces. Continue on, whether it's in the workforce, you're transferring. Know that we're so proud of you. And again, continue on. You got this. And hey, go CCA Foxes. Congratulations, Community College of Aurora graduates. We are so proud of you and this milestone that you all have accomplished. Graduates, congratulations on your accomplishment. I hope that as you go into the next chapter of your lives, that you are as successful as you can be and that you take advantage of all of the opportunities that are presented to you. Again, congratulations and good luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations! Congratulations from the Colorado Film School faculty and staff. You guys get out there and kill it. We love you. Hello, wonderful students, and congratulations. Congratulations on graduation. Uh, well deserved, well deserved. I wish you the best on everything from here. Wonderful job, wonderful job. Congratulations. Good morning. I'm Dr. Angela Marquez, the Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at the Community College of Aurora. And I would like to say, congratulations, graduates. It's time to celebrate your accomplishments and to look forward to what tomorrow brings. May all your tomorrows be filled with success. Congratulations, graduates. Special shout out to our Concurrent Moment students graduating today. Hello, my name is Federico Vaz. I'm the Deputy Consul General of Mexico in Denver. On behalf of our Consul General, Ambassador Berenice Rendon, I would like to congratulate all of you who are participating in the Community College of Aurora 38th Annual Commencement Ceremony. You have made it. This is a great achievement in your life. Please remember to always continue to excel. Always continue to strive to be a better student, a better person, a better member of your community, a better member of your family. Once again, congratulations and let the work begin. Hello, my name is Megan Kadehi Dempsey. I am the student parent navigator and project manager here at CCA. Um, I utilize the pronoun she, her, hers, and I just wanna say I am so incredibly proud of our graduates. Um, Y'all have worked so hard, and especially those who are parents or caregivers or supporting family in any way, like you are graduating not just for yourself, but for your family and for your future. And I'm so proud of you and the hard work you've done and you inspire me and I wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you, especially our CCA Foundation scholarship recipients who are walking today. We're so proud of everything you've done and what you're gonna do for our community in the future. Hello, graduates. It's Robin Carnes, Centennial City Council, District 1. Just a warm congratulations on this special day. Now go out and make the world a better place. Congratulations, CCA graduates. This is a huge accomplishment. You should be really proud of yourselves. I know we all are. Hello, graduates. My name is Jennifer Bird, and I'm an academic program support specialist in the Division for Academic Success. All of your hard work has brought you here today, and you should be so proud of yourselves. While this is an ending, it is also a beginning, and may it carry you forward into better and brighter things. Felicidades and congratulations, class of 2022. My name is Doctora Reina Anaya, and I serve as your Senior Student Affairs Officer and Dean of Student Success. And in that role, I cannot tell you how proud I am to serve you. 
I also know that it has not been easy for everyone here to accomplish your goals and reach that step of graduation. And I applaud you, each of you, for pushing through, for identifying solutions, and for making it happen. You did it. Your achievements at the Community College of Aurora are the first step in the direction of the rest of your life. Whether that be going to a four-year institution as a transfer student or entering the workforce. It is important though, as you enter those spaces that you know you are valued, you matter, and you belong. Hello, my name is Nina Sinovia. I'm an instructor in the psychology department. Congratulations, graduates, and good luck on your future endeavors. Congratulations, CCA grads. It's been an honor and a joy to be a part of your journey here at CCA. And I know you are on to amazing things from here. Congratulations. Hi, this is Eileen Walsh in Career Services. Here to say to all you foxes, congratulations on your graduation. Go out, keep learning, spread your knowledge along with good cheer. Get a seat at the table to affect real change. But right now, take a minute to pat yourself on the back. This is a great achievement and a great milestone. We wish you continued success. Congratulations again, Foxes, on this great graduation. Congratulations, Spring 22 graduates. Take pride in your accomplishment and you're bound to be a success. Hello, my name is Omar Montgomery president of the Aurora branch of the NAACP. On behalf of our founder, Dr. Barbara Shannon Bannister, and the members of the Aurora branch of the NAACP, congratulations, graduates. The Community College of Aurora is a fabulous institution, and we look forward to the impact you as graduates are going to have on society. We wish you the best and enjoy the celebration. Congrats, class 2022. From one fox to another, the world's not ready for you. Congrats. Hey, CCA graduates. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, I'm David Spiegel. I teach philosophy here, and I've taught philosophy here for many years. And one thing I know, you cannot get to this point in your educational uh, goals, uh, career without working hard. So congratulations on a lot of hard work and you truly did accomplish something very, very meaningful. And enjoy this moment, stay ambitious, always look to the future, but don't forget, enjoy the present as much as you can. Have a good balance, uh, no anxiety or regrets about, no regrets about the past no anxiety too much about the future. Do your best to enjoy where you are now. Enjoy this day, but don't lose the ambition in your forward thinking. So once again, congratulations, and I'm impressed with all of you because I know how much hard work this is. Hi, CCA grads. This is Judy in Financial Aid. Congratulations on your big achievement. We'll miss you, but I'm sure you'll be successful in your future. Come back and see us. Thanks. I'm Tanya Reeves. I'd like to thank Dr. Charlie Graham for giving me a strong base to build a successful psychology career. I thank you for all of the knowledge you've shared with me. Professor Sandberg, I don't know what to say. I've found in you a mentor who I can turn to, whether it be for school or personal, and there's been a couple of those. Um, You've pushed me beyond my comfort zone, whether it be talking in public, which I don't like doing still, and your long papers that have taught me research and the importance of hard work. I appreciate everything that you've shared with me, your knowledge, your expertise, and I will take that with me when I transfer to MSU. Thank you. Congratulations, CCA graduates. Today I want to bring to you a Tibetan greeting that a friend taught me many years ago. And that is Tashi Dele. I honor the greatness within you. Or more specifically, I honor the place within you of your courage, of your strength, of your bravery, of your love, of your greatness. You are great. 
And our world, more than ever before, needs your greatness. So congratulations. Now go out there and share your greatness with your family, with our community, with our state, with our nation, with our world. Congratulations. The best experience I had at CCA was uh, pretty much learning about different materials and learning about a lot of things in my digital art class and making new friends. And the best advice that I can provide for the graduate of 2022 is to work hard, never give up, no matter what things come at you and never be afraid to ask for help and get advice from your professors and from your friends. Work hard and good things will happen at the end of the tunnel. And I wanna thank Dina Piscote for being there for me and for helping me throughout my progress to success of getting the certification. Hello graduates, my name is Dr. Bobby Pace. I am the Vice President for Academic Success here at the Community College of Aurora. And as you can see, uh, I am here in the simulation lab and I just wanna congratulate each and every one of you, especially our career technical education folks. You have done an amazing job. You are fantastic graduates. We are so proud of you. We're excited to see what you're gonna do next. And we encourage you to keep us uh, in your hearts as you move forward into your careers. Hello, um, my name is Ren Salcom, and I'm 24 years old and I'm a single mom of two. And I just want us to say, uh, thank you CCA. I want us to start with that. Thank you so much for helping me through my journey for help me to, um, you know, believe in myself, to help me to believe that I can go to school <laughs> and get a degree or even go to college, you know? Uh, thank you. And secondly, I just want to say thank you, CCA faculty. I want to start with Miss Wendy Silver. You are an amazing teacher. Thank you for helping with my journey, my first journey in CCA. It was hard. You know, I don't want to do it, <laughs> but thank you so much for being there for me. Thank you for believing in me, even when I can't believe in myself. I was a tough top person and going to college, even high school was like the last thing that I ever thought I will uh, ever do in my life. You know, at my country, they don't allow, like not a lot of women get the opportunity to go to school. And I didn't go to school until I was at 14 or 15. And that was like, was really hard. You know, you are a teenager. I was a teenager. I don't want to like read or learn anymore, you know, but I'm coming to US when I was 15 and put in a class, you know, like it's not like a choice anymore, but you have to go to school. You can't stay home when you're underage. So going to school and like know that I can't read or write was like so challenging, you know, but then, I was a self taught person. I had to learn to read and write. It was like one of the hardest things that I had to go through, you know, and then start my journey in CCA. It was so amazing. It was challenging, but a sweet challenging, like very sweet challenging. And I cannot even ask for anything more than that. And I just want to say thank you, my uh, material advisors. You guys are an amazing uh, uh, people. You are an amazing teachers and you are an amazing advisors that anyone could ever ask for. And I'm just so thankful that you guys helped me through this journey to see that I'm not alone. And I just want to say specifically, thank you, Emma, for being there for me, for helping me and to just let me know that I was not alone, that I was not stubborn. I was not, I was not crazy, you know, even though I don't believe myself to hear all of this positive stuff. You know, you guys are there for me. Thank you, Miss Stacy D'Angelo. Thank you, Miss Stacy Storm. Thank you, Miss Aisha. Thank you, Mr. Kid. Thank you, Mr. Mikey. Thank you, Miss Aisha. Just thank you, all of you guys. Hey, y'all. Um, I'm Carrie Martin Lashney. Some of you might know me as Ana Morales from the Netflix series Hentified. And just want to start off by saying, Congratulations to the graduates of the Community College of Aurora. You did it. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that, so thank you so much for allowing me to. Um, wow, 
this is the end of an era, but also the most exciting start to the next chapter of your life. And you get to write the narrative. You get to create the plot twist. You get to create the characters and, and, and tell that story. Nobody else but you. You get to take everything you've learned, everything you've accomplished, and actually put it to practice from this moment forward. Congratulations, that's truly the most exciting part. Senator John Hickenlooper here with a message to the CCA graduating class of 2022. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. We can't wait to see all the things you're going to accomplish. Hello, everyone. I'm Anthony Anderson, and welcome to the 38th annual commencement ceremony for the Community College of Aurora in Aurora, Colorado. Now, I'd first like to congratulate and recognize the graduates for their hard work and commitment while balancing work and life and high school and family all while pursuing degrees and certificates from CCA, the most racially and ethnically diverse college in Colorado. I want to applaud you for never giving up and staying focused and keeping your eye on the prize and your dreams. Now, I don't want to make this about me, but I'd like to share a little story. I was a college freshman back in 1988. Woo! That's a long time before any of you were ever thought of. You, were, you weren't even a glimmer in your parents' eyes. I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship my freshman year. But then I wasn't able to renew my scholarship because I wasn't as focused as you students are today. So I ended up having to pay for college myself for the next two years. I ran out of money after my junior year and I couldn't call home because I had three younger brothers and sisters who were dependent upon my parents. So unfortunately, I had to leave college after my junior year. Real life got in the way. I started my own family, my career took off, but I was always missing something. I was missing having my college degree. Well, my son was accepted into my alma mater, Howard University. And then I realized that I would graduate with my son. What better way to celebrate his graduation than to graduate alongside of him? So my son inspired me to go back to college. I said I would walk with him in the year 2022. Well, last week I turned in my final papers and I will be walking with the class of 2022 at Howard University, just like you are receiving your degrees today. Now, this was a story of determination, hard work, believing in myself, and never giving up. Everything that you students embody. So, in passing, I want to say congratulations again. And I'd like to say thank you to all of the families CCA leadership, faculty, instructors, and staff for your continued support for all of the graduates, because it really does take a village, and none of us could do this on our own. So to the 38th annual graduating class from the Community College of Aurora and Aurora, Colorado, Congratulations! Yes! We did it! 
Greetings, students. This is Dr. Mordecai Brownlee, sixth president of the Community College of Aurora, proud president of the Community College of Aurora. Congratulations on achieving this amazing feat of reaching the point of commencement, the completion of your academic program. This is just the beginning for you and your family. We are committed to you. The Community College of Aurora has a vision where we aspire to be a college where every student succeeds. And that means that we are totally committed to you beyond today. So anything that you need from us to support you on your academic pathway, career pathway, know that Community College of Aurora is here for you and your family. Congratulations, graduates. Today is your day.
seated. Welcome, bienvenidos, and good morning, buenos dias, to the 38th annual commencement ceremony for the Community College of Aurora. I am Dr. Reina Anaya, and I serve as the Senior Student Affairs Officer and Dean of Student Success at the Community College of Aurora. And I will be presiding over today's ceremony. Thank you, family, friends, faculty, staff, and community members for joining us today both in person and virtually, to celebrate the achievements of our Community College of Aurora students. Students, give yourself a hand. We're excited to celebrate your success and accomplishments today. Woo! At this time, I would like to introduce one of our own graduates, Noemi Diaz. Noemi Diaz comes from a Hispanic family where obtaining an education was always encouraged for a better future. She is a busy bee and is always on the go, whether it is for school or work. Her family is always supporting her and cheering her on in everything she wants to do. Today she is obtaining her degree in business and will be transferring to the Metropolitan State University at Denver this fall to pursue her bachelor's degree in human resources. Her desire to help people has led her to pursue a degree in human resources where she wants to work to better serve underrepresented people in the workforce. Noemi will begin our ceremony today in singing our national anthem. I invite you to stand if you are able for the singing of the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say the sad star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Noemi, for your beautiful rendition of the national anthem. You may all be seated. Dr. Angela Marquez, Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, is unable to join us this morning. Here to represent the Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion and read the Community College of Aurora Land and Labor Acknowledgement is Mike Roderick. Assistant Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Right. 
Thank you, Dr. Anaya. As the Assistant Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, it is my honor to take this moment to acknowledge the land that we currently reside on and the labor that has taken place upon it to have our commencement ceremony today. We humbly acknowledge that the Community College of Aurora sits upon land within the territories of the Ute, Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Sioux peoples, descendants of the Folsom and Clovis First Peoples. Also, we acknowledge that 48 contemporary tribal nations are historically tied to the lands that make up the state of Colorado. We take this opportunity to offer respectful recognition to these native and indigenous communities who have stewarded this land throughout the generations. We pay our respects to these communities, past, present, and future, the land, and the elders. This land is not ours, and yet here we are. In addition to acknowledging the land we sit on and its impact, we want to also acknowledge the historical labor that has built our society and infrastructure. Much of what we know of this country today, including culture, economic growth, and development through history and across time, has been made possible by the labor of enslaved African people and their ascendants, who suffered the horror of the transatlantic trafficking, chattel slavery, and Jim Crow. We are indebted to their labor and their sacrifice, and we must acknowledge the tremors of that violence throughout the generations and the resulting impact that is still being felt and witnessed today. With this land and labor acknowledgement, we can begin to reconcile and address our history and communal legacy as the Community College of Aurora, where we aspire to be the college where every student succeeds. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. It is now my honor to introduce to you the individuals on the stage behind me and to my front left. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Mike Kaufman, Mayor of the City of Aurora. Dr. Landon Mascarenas, Board Trustee of the Colorado Community College System. Dr. Bobby Pace, Vice President of Academic Success. Ms. Cindy Hesse, Vice President of Human Resources and Personnel Success, Ms. Lynn Winchill, Vice President of Administrative Services and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Chris Tambari, Interim Vice President of Enrollment Management and Strategic Communications, Dr. Catherine Scully, Dean of Assessment, Strategy and Performance Excellence, Ms. Ana Martin Mejia, Dean of Academic Effectiveness and Instructional Support, Mr. Brandon Ferris, Dean of Academic Success in General Education, Dr. Carmen Wade, Dean of Academic Success, Ms. Michelle Pacheco, Dean of Academic Success in Concurrent Enrollment, Mr. John Wolfkill, Executive Director of CCA Foundation, Ms. Robley Welliver, Faculty of the Year, Ms. Charlisa Daniels, our student speaker, Dr. Chris Ward, Special Assistant to the President, Mr. John Bottleberg, Associate Vice President of Administrative Services, Ms. Rhonda Hattar, Faculty, Chair, Senate, Faculty Senate Chair, Ms. Kelly O'Dell, State Faculty Advisory Council Representative, Mr. Mike McKee, State Instructor Advisory Council Representative, Mr. Darius Smith, Instructor Representative, Ms. Delia Ramirez, President of Student Government Association, and finally, Ms. Dr. Mordecai Brownlee, President of the Community College of Aurora. Dr. Mordecai Ian Brownlee became the sixth president of the Community College of Aurora on August 2, 2021. With campuses in Aurora and Denver, the Community College of Aurora is a proud minority-serving institution and Hispanic-serving institution, providing instruction to over 10,600 students throughout its 350 square mile service area. With an institutional vision to aspire to be the college where every student succeeds, the Community College of Aurora is setting course to become one of the most transformative institutions in the country. And we are honored to have Dr. Mordecai at the helm. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. President Brownlee to the podium to provide his opening remarks. Good morning and welcome. A special thank you to our Aurora Police Color Guard and our CCA graduate, 
Noemi Diaz, who wonderfully led us in the singing of the national anthem, join me once again in giving them a hand. We thank you for joining us as we celebrate our 38 years of existence. And over these past 38 years, we have come a long way. Our presence today at the Aurora Municipal Building is symbolic to the foundation of our institution. Prior to being established as the Community College of Aurora, the Aurora Educational Center, as it was then called in 1979, was housed in what was the former Aurora Municipal Building on East 16th Avenue. What is even more interesting is that the 21 acres of land on which the Community College of Aurora Center Tech Campus resides is the land made possible through a vote by our City Council of Aurora City Council on October of 1982. CCA is forever grateful for the support, leadership, and foresight of our community leaders to know that one day, this day would be possible. Today we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates, who are the true architects of our history and our legacy. In addition to honor, our honored stage guests, we also have with us community leaders who have joined us in celebration of our students that I would like to acknowledge at this time. This morning we have with us someone who I am honored to call a friend, a confidant, and a mentor, the fifth president of the Community College of Aurora, Dr. Betty Aldenhoven. We also have with us retired CCA Police Academy faculty and commissioner, Jeff Baker. We have with us Aurora Councilman Juan Mercado. We've already given honors to our uh, mayor. We have coordinator from Hinkley High School, Cecilia Jaquez Gomez. We have CCA Foundation Board member, Mr. Phil Smith. Assistant Vice President of First Bank and CCA Foundation Board member, Mr. Josh Stewart. CCCS staff member, Dr. Ryan Ross. Assistant Vice President, Vice Chancellor, my apologies. Centennial Councilwoman Marlo Alston. Concurrent Enrollment Coordinator from Hinkley High School, Adam Otterkirk. Northeast Early College Principal, Stacy Parrish. Aurora City Councilwoman, Allison Coombs. Retired Vice President of Institutional Effectiveness and Special Assistant to the President, Dr. Chris Ward. Before we proceed at this time, we would like to recognize all of our active military service members, veterans, and military spouses, and our honor students who are with us on today. Would all of our students and audience members who are active military service members, veterans, and military spouses, please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you for your service. Now would all of our honor students graduating please stand and be recognized. Congratulations on a job well done. To all of our graduates, thank you for entrusting the Community College of Aurora with your academic and career pathways. Your institution is so very proud of you. We are now back in the hands of Dr. Anaya. Thank you, Dr. Brownlee, for your leadership and commitment to the Community College of Aurora and becoming the college where every student succeeds. Next, I am very excited to welcome this year's student commencement speaker, Charlisa Daniels. That's right, I hear you. Okay, Charlisa Daniels was born and raised in Colorado. She attended Denver Public Schools from elementary through high school and graduated from the Career Education Center Early College in 2009. Post-graduation, she attended several post-secondary universities. During her college experience, she was faced with many adversities that slowed down her progress to attain her higher education degree. Within the past five, three years, her journey has aligned her to come full circle. Her path led her to the Community College of Aurora, she is a proud boy mom of four handsome and smart young men and currently works at the preschool teaching assistant in Aurora Public Schools. 
Working in Aurora Public Schools has given her the drive and motivation for education and her program of study in early ed childhood education. Charlise's goals include becoming a preschool teacher and director next school year and to one day have her own early childhood development center and to be the best educator of color to all students. Specifically, Charlisa wants to give back to the community that raised her and be part of a village it takes to help raise a child in a healthy and positive environment. Please help me in welcoming Charlisa to the stage. Hello. In the wise words of Viola Davis, sometimes people hold off braveness and courage because they don't want to risk failure and they don't want to risk shame. And I think you got to risk it. Congratulations, fellow graduates, because of your risk taking, bravery, and courage, you are here today. Damn it, we made it. No matter the degree or certificate, pride yourselves in your courage. Remember those moments in the late night hours when you told yourself you can't do it? Now look at yourself in this very moment that you thought you wouldn't make it to. <laughs> you were brave. Take it all in. Remember your why. Today you have taken one step closer to your why. Keep going, do not stop, because on the other side of that why will be so many people who need you. They will be forever changed by your why. Whether you choose to get more cert certifications, transfer to another college, and obtain your bachelor's degree or higher, remember this day. You are elevating to a new level of self, bask, in this huge accomplishment because this road is not easy. We've all lost many family members, friends, and colleagues in the past two and a half years due to COVID or unrelated. So many of our peers didn't make it to our moment today. They aren't able to sit next to us and celebrate with us with our courage and bravery. So take this moment in Thank yourselves for making the necessary sacrifices it takes to accomplish this milestone. Thank the people in your villages for supporting you. Thank your ancestors for choosing to survive so you could be here in this very moment. To my four handsome and intelligent sons, I thank you boys for growing with me and loving me in spite of all we've been through to get to this day. I hope that seeing mommy up here today will continue to inspire the four of you to be brave and courageous. I love the four of you to life. Thank you for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. and wiping away the many tears over the years. Without the four of you believing in me, I don't think I would have made it to this moment. To my students, past, present, and future, thank you for pushing me to grow and being my why. To my village, thank you for your unconditional support and love. My fellow graduates, please repeat with me and affirm with me. I really do matter. Victory is the stuff I am made of. I live in the power of a mighty past. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. 
Be proud of yourselves. Congratulations, class of 2022. We made it. Thank you, Charlisa. Your affirmations are powerful, and we're honored to have served you here at the Community College of Aurora. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce this year's faculty speaker, Robley Welliver. Robley attended an innovative project-based elementary school, and the first time she received a grade for anything was in the seventh grade. When her seventh grade English teacher explained the concept of points, she literally laughed out loud. Later, when a teacher wrote her name on the board as a means of warning against her smart aleck behavior, something that she still continues to do, uh, she was utterly confused. She was raised to break rules and question systems, beginning as far back as elementary school. And that commitment to fighting the patriarchy has carried her all the way to a career teaching English at the Community College of Aurora. Robley has used her experience questioning authority to support student learning through love, compassion, and a deep commitment to the human beings she shares a classroom with. Please welcome our Faculty of the Year, Robley Welliver. I gotta adjust my stuff, hang on. All right. Everybody I looked to for advice on this speech promised me that nobody would be listening. I understand the intent, but it certainly leads to a weird experience, working so hard on something that is intended to be performed but not actually heard. It almost made me want to bail on the whole thing. But I'm just so stinking happy for you all. I couldn't miss this opportunity to tell you that I am so proud of you. And I'm legitimately grateful to be invited to share in your celebration. You are all remarkable. I tried really, really, really hard to write a speech that wasn't the same garbage everybody else has to say. I attempted to find smart metaphors for graduation. I tried to tell some stories or offer some advice for the future. And I couldn't do it. Every draft I wrote was just wrong. Because all I kept thinking was, y'all are just seriously, absolutely remarkable. There's nothing I can say that will add to all that you have done to get here. I can't add any meaning to your accomplishments. The work you have done is meaning enough. The journey you walked is a testament to the fact that you can do anything. That tassel and mortarboard are your evidence. You did it. Y'all, take a minute and sit with that. Think about all that you have done to get here. Graduating from college is an amazing accomplishment. Seriously. You have overcome uncountable challenges, written and thought in new ways. You entered and became a part of a whole new community. You've done things you never thought possible. You did all that. During a pandemic? Y'all, that's damn remarkable. Yeah. I think you're amazing. I look at y'all and all the y'alls I've known over the years, and I'm always completely amazed at the ways you succeed, overcome, challenge yourself, teach others, build community, find your voice, discover yourself, work, care for family members, learn new languages, and show up. You inspire me more than I'll ever be able to articulate, and I love you all for that. Thank you for letting me share a part of your celebration and your story. I'm so proud of you. You are remarkable.
Thank you, Rob Lee, for your impassioned speech and dedication to student learning and success. Now, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, City of Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman. Mayor Kaufman has dedicated his career to defending our country and making a difference in Aurora. The mayor grew up in Aurora, attended Aurora Public Schools, and graduated from the University of Colorado under the GI Bill, under the GI Bill. In 1995, he completed the Senior Executive Program for State and Local Government at John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University. Kaufman served a combined 21 years in the Army, the Army Reserve, the U.S. Marine Corps, and the Marine Corps Reserve. In 1990, Kaufman took an unpaid leave of absence to serve as a Marine Corps Light Armored Infantry Officer in the first Gulf War. And in 2005, he resigned as the state treasurer to serve as a civil affairs officer in the Iraq War. Over the years, Mayor Kaufman has invested in the city that he now leads by volunteering on local boards and service organizations. A former small business owner, Kaufman remained a partner for 17 years with the Aurora-based property management firm that he founded in 1983. Starting in 1989, Kaufman's career in the government has spanned over the three decades, serving in Colorado State House of Representatives, State Senate, and U.S. House of Representatives, in addition to being elected Colorado State Treasurer and Secretary of State. Mike Kaufman was elected to serve as the Mayor of Aurora in November 2019. Please help me welcome Mayor Mike Kaufman. Today, <clears throat> today is a very special day. <clears throat> today is a day that you will always remember. <clears throat> and today is a day that will lead you, thank you, on a path to a brighter future. Congratulations to all of you and to your families who supported you so that you could be here today to celebrate an accomplishment that will forever define you. Whether you <clears throat> were a high school student from Aurora Public Schools taking courses at the Community College of Aurora under the concurrent enrollment program, or whether you are a high school graduate who wanted to gain a skill or to finish your first two years of college, before attending a university, <clears throat> or whether you just have a newfound intellectual curiosity that inspired you to take classes, you made the right decision by coming to the Community College of Aurora to further your education. <clears throat> the Community College of Aurora is at the front lines of providing educational opportunities to everyone who is willing to work for it. You made sacrifices by studying late at night when you were tired, studying on weekends when you could have been having some downtime with friends and family, and studying for those tests. Remember those never-ending tests? Well, that's all over with, at least for now. Thank you <laughs> to the president of the Community College of Aurora Dr. Mordecai Ian Brownlee, and thank you to the faculty and staff who also worked hard to make this day possible. Let's acknowledge Dr. Brownlee's extraordinary leadership and the dedication of the faculty and staff that helped you get to this day. I admire your grit and your determination. You are our role models. You are our heroes because you defined a goal for yourself and you have the discipline and the determination to achieve that goal. You have taken it upon yourselves <clears throat> to define your future instead of letting others define it for you. I grew up in Aurora and I went to Aurora Public Schools. I went to both Hinckley 
in Central High School, and much to the disappointment of my parents, I managed to do poorly at both. As a teenager, I fell in love with the adult responsibilities of having a job with a paycheck, and I completely, completely neg neglected my schoolwork. I had no focus, I had no plan or vision about what I wanted my future to be. Of course, I now deeply regret my attitude towards education as a teenager, and I wish that I could turn back the clock and do it all over again, but I can't. At the end of my junior year of high school, I dropped out to join the Army. As a 17-year-old, being a soldier was an abrupt end to my undisciplined and unfocused life. The Army gave me a sense of direction, of discipline, it defined who I was, and it gave me a purpose in life. I earned a GED in the Army and was later given a chance to earn a high school diploma through an Army program. I was also able to take college courses on a part-time basis while on active duty. And I used those credits and those grades that I'd earned to apply and be accepted to the University of Colorado where I earned a degree. After graduating from college, I went on to become an officer in the United States Marine Corps, a successful small business owner, a state legislator, a state treasurer and secretary of state, a congressman, and now the mayor of the 51st largest city in the United States. Let me leave you with this. William Faulkner, one of the most celebrated writers of American literature, said it best. Always dream and shoot higher than you know you can do. Don't bother just to be better than your contemporaries or predecessors. Try to be better than yourself. Now it's time for you to relax, to take in this moment, to celebrate, and to acknowledge what you've achieved. God bless you, and God bless this nation. Congratulations. Thank you, Mayor Kaufman, for your service to the city of Aurora and investment in Aurora's community college. Your keynote affirms the success of our graduates and the impact they will make around the Aurora community. Next, I am pleased to welcome to the stage Dr. Landon Mascarenas, state representative to provide the board, the state board authorization. Dr. Landon Mascarenas is the vice president for the community partnerships at the Colorado Education Initiative. In his role, he is responsible for relationships and system redesign work in the Denver metro area, northeastern Colorado, Pueblo, and southwestern Colorado. His projects include the Homegrown Talent Initiative focused on rural economic development, youth connections, social emotional development, and launching efforts for community-driven change. He supports CEI's efforts rethinking accountability in Colorado and how we might reframe the questions toward what families and communities need from the system. He leads organizational partnership and design for the community-driven open systems across the state. He helped design and launch the Sin Fronteras Education Partnership to build a coalition for New Mexico, Colorado, and national organizations to bring breakthrough family partnership strategies to the region. He co-founded the Open System Institute in 2021 with his good friend and colleague, Dr. Donain Tan, to cultivate and connect a shared discipline with emerging leaders across the country. They are currently co-writing a book on open system redesign and democracy building in education for Harvard Education Press, due out spring 2023. He was appointed in 2019 by Governor Jared Polis to the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education for a four-year term. During the first six months of the COVID crisis, Landon worked with many organizations to help launch the Denver Metro Emergency Food Network that delivered over 320,000 meals for families for free and elderly in need. He now serves on the Board of, of Colorado Food Cluster, an innovative federal and state partnership 
which has delivered over 4 million meals and snacks since 2020. He recently helped support the launch of Palaces for People, raising dollars for medium-term medium housing for Ukrainian refugees in Eastern Europe. Landon was born in California, raised in Colorado, attended Colorado and Oregon, and began his professional career in the Four Corners region, leading him to consider the entire Western United States his home. He enjoys spending time with his family and friends, seeks great discussions, reading about ancient history, and developing his meditation practice. Please help me in welcome Dr. Landon Mascarenas. Good morning. You know, I just want to first off say thank you uh, to all the speakers up here today, but Charlisa in particular, you, thank you for your incredible words. And in addition for tomorrow, uh, let's hear for all the mothers in the audience today. Woo! All the incredible moms who made it all possible. Uh, thank you to the Community College Aurora and thank you President Brownlee for inviting me today. Um, ever since I came to the Community College uh, system after being appointed by Governor Polis in 2019, I have been impressed, tremendously impressed, by the work of the Community College of Aurora. In a world of closed systems that create walls and barriers between students and communities, you have decided to open up, and the results are all around us. You have been open to the single parents, the adult learners, the immigrants, the newcomer, the refugee, and created a bright light of potential here in Colorado. Each of you here today Graduates from all walks of life, from all different backgrounds, have taken the incredible opportunity here at CCA to build a better future, not only for you, but for your family, your community, and your generations to come. You have not only made your ancestors proud, you now have the potential to help us build a better world to honor their sacrifice. On behalf of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I grant President Brownlee the authority to confer the appropriate degrees and certificates. Thank you. Deans, if you will please join me. President Brownlee, Dr. Landon Mascarenas, members of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, faculty instructors, family and other guests, on behalf of the faculty of the Community College of Aurora, myself and the deans of academic success certify that these students have completed the requirements for an associate degree or certificate at the Community College of Aurora. President Brownlee, on behalf of the faculty, would you declare these students as graduates and candidates of the class of 2021-2022 of the Community College of Aurora? To the class of 2021-2022, I am pleased to announce that upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the State Board of Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I pronounce you graduates and candidates for graduation, having all the rights and privileges pertaining to this associate's degrees or certificates. Graduates, we will now present all degrees and certificates. Adriana Cordova, Lena Karebishin, will you please join me on, on the stage to present the diplomas. Super tall. 
Charlisa Daniels, Early Childhood Education Entry Certificate. Delilah Ramirez, Associate of Arts, Business. Noemi Diaz, Associate of Arts. Yesenia Morales, Associate of General Studies. Yesenia Martinez, Associate of Arts. Zachary Eunice, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Post-Production. Zachary Honey, Associate of Applied Science, Networking. Patrick Lin, Associate of Applied Science, Diesel Power. Carrie Passmore, Associate of General Studies. Noah Passmore, Associate of Arts, Art History. Yarhiria Eshete, Associate of Arts, General Business Certificate. Alan Delgado, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Science. Abdul Neville, Associate of Arts, Spanish. Adriana Palacio, Phlebotomy Certificate. Ahmed Adan, Associate of Arts, Business. Alberto Castañeda, Real Estate Certificate. Amy Melendez, Associate of Arts, Business. Alicia Muñoz Perez, Associate of Arts, Elementary Education. Alejandro Pfeiffer, Associate of Arts, Business. Aidan Deline, Associate of Applied Science, Diesel Power Mechanics. Abigail Partida, Associate of Science. Ajela Wilson, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems. Ailea Thompson, Associate of Science. Aaron Valle, Associate of Arts, History. Abdul Razak, His Omer, Phlebotomy Certificate. Balbina K. Amulavu, Early Childhood Education Entry Certificate. Christian Barron, Construction Superintendent Certificate. Corinne Desmond, Associate of General Studies. Kristen Murphy, Associate of General Studies. Courtney Catron, Paralegal Certificate. Carolina Herrera Asensio, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Cristal Mendoza, Early Childhood Education Director Certificate. <laughs> Chelsea Maestas, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Acting, Directing for the Screen. Christopher Cormier, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Post-Production. 
Cynthia Hernandez, Early Childhood Education Director Certificate. <laughs> Celeste Robles, Associate of Arts. Carter Dodd, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Acting, Directing for the Screen. Carter Cole, Associate of Applied Science, Cinematography, Videography. Courtney Knott, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Writing, Production. Charlotte Stuck, Associate of General Studies. Christelle Ishaka, Associate of Science. Anaya Worrell, Phlebotomy Certificate. Amal Darif, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Anastasia Baker, Associate of Arts. Annette Garcia Soto, Early Childhood Education Entry Certificate. Angelica Massey, Associate of General Studies. Amir Wheatington Eddington, Associate of General Studies. Andrea Rudd, Associate of Arts Business. <laughs> Ana Fuente Romero, Associate of Arts. Ana Gabriela Paviral Aguilar, Associate of Arts. Andrea Delgado, Phlebotomy Certificate. Alondra Villalobos Vargas, Associate of General Studies. Angelique Navarrete, Real Estate Certificate. <laughs> Ellie Dominguez, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice. Anita Gaines, Associate of Arts, Business. Angie Castaneda Flores, Associate of Science. Christian Boating, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> April Lee, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Bethlehem Getahun, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Ashley Lindine, Early Childhood Education Teacher Certificate. Bailiu Yigletu, Associate of Arts Business. Ariadna White, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal. Benjamin Hotsfield, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Cinematography, Videography. Ashlyn Stewart, Associate of Science. Bailey Limbaugh, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal. Ashley Chaffee, Associate of General Studies. Bijendra Bista, Associate of Applied Science, Cybersecurity. Anosh Amadi, Associate of Science. Asad Nabizda, Nabizada, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems. Aisha Furkan, Associate of Science. 
Ashley Lopez, Associate of Arts. B. Marie Justine Palanga, Phlebotomy Certificate. Brittany Doucette, Emergency Medical Technician, Basic Certificate. <laughs> Cesar Koss, Associate of Science. Brisa Esparza, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Bright Kwame Arthur, Associate of Applied Science, IT Tech and Support. Felicia Collins Cola, Early Childhood Education Entry Certificate. Brianna Gadoy, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Blanca Acevedo, Associate of Arts Business, General Business Certificate. Brenda Ramirez, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Brittany Ward, Paralegal Certificate. Karine Lori Jidan, Associate of Applied Science Networking. Brendan McKelvey, Associate of Arts. Brendan Theory, Associate of General Studies. Bria Hicks, Associate of Science. Carla Medell, Associate of General Studies. Carla Wilder, Business Bookkeeping Certificate. Brittany Harrison, Early Childhood Education Director Certificate. Evan Green, Associate of General Studies. Elora Morissette, Associate of Applied Science, Cybersecurity. Emily Wilson, Associate of Science, Biology. Elizabeth Rodriguez, Business Bookkeeping Certificate. Eric Hamilton, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Press Production. <laughs> Ellen Amaro Campa, phlebotomy certificate. All right, Ellen. <laughs> Frugina. Frugina Bowden, Associate of Arts, Business. Elysia Bortz, Associate of Arts. Evan McMillan, Associate of Applied Science, Diesel Power Mechanics. <laughs> Fatima Gorgim, Associate of Science. Estrella Avendano, Associate of Arts. Brandon Barlow, Logistics, Inventory Management Certificate. <laughs> Fatia Khalil, Nurse Aid Certificate. Danielle Griffin, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Acting, Directing for the Screen. Dandrea Boyakia, Associate of Science, Biology. Delena Lewis, Associate of Arts, Sociology. Damian Armstrong, Associate of Science. Daniel Blackhorse, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice.
Deborah A. Westbrooks, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Darlene Washington, Associate of Arts, Political Science. Dalia Salahuddin, Associate of Science. Danielle Gomez, Associate of General Studies. Dawn Young, Associate of General Studies. Danielle Guthrie, Associate of Arts, Psychology. David Luke, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Writing, Directing. Elizabeth Perez, Associate of Arts. Dominic Arguello, General Business Certificate. Denise Nquaco, Associate of General Studies. Eliana Duca, Associate of Science. Dressa Parker Edmonds, Associate of Science, Mathematics. Diana Dorantes, Translation Interpretation Certificate. Eliana Campbell, Associate of Arts. Elizabeth Esparza Avila, Early Childhood Education Entry Certificate. <laughs> Ellen Margarian, Associate of Arts, Business. Dequan Enzor, Associate of Arts. Divani Allen, Phlebotomy Certificate. <laughs> Diego Maldonado Lopez, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Alicia Davis, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Screenwriting. Diana Garcia Varela, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Science. Demetrius Escobedo, Associate of Applied Science, Diesel Power Mechanics. Heaven Duran, Associate of Arts Business. Giselle Castillo Villalobos, Associate of Science. Haley Ortiz, Associate of Arts, Business Certificate of General Business. Gerardo Soto Montellano, Associate of Arts, General Business Certificate. Giovanna Berno, Associate of Arts, English. Grayson Broussard Tavares, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Heidi Ferreira, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Hannah Cancino, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Gasora Nibisi, Associate of Science. Helena Greber Selassie, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Go Jambwale, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Guadalupe Giselle Valenzuela, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Gloria Torres Cruz, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice. 
Graydon Sauter, Associate of Applied Science, Diesel Power Mechanics. Gina Scott, Associate of General Studies. Jamie Howell, Associate of Arts Business. <laughs> Janet Lobatos Munoz, Associate of Art Psychology. Julissa Smith, Associate of Art Psychology. Isabel Salinas, Associate of Science. Janet Castorena, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration, and Certificate of Human Resources, Certificate of General Business. Janet Gonzalez, Associate of Arts, General Business Certificate. Isai Lopez Rojas, Certificate in Construction Estimating and Construction Superintendent. Jamie Henderson, Associate of Arts, Arts History. Ismael Ait Mohamed Perez, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems. Isabella Walsh, Associate of Science. Ingrid Perdomo, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice. Jaime Alberto Peralta Quintanilla, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Ivy Anyogu, Associate of Science. David Brooks, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Cassandra Ochoa, Associate of Science Biology. Karina Huerta Altamarino, Associate of Arts Psychology. Alkidan Biru, Associate of Applied Science, Graphic and Web Design. Katia Garcia Alcaraz, Associate of Arts Business. Joshua Thorne, Associate of Science. Juana Ramos Aleman, Associate of Arts. Julio Gonzalez Sandoval, Associate of General Studies. Justin Macori, Construction Estimating Certificate. Justice Gardner, Associate of Applied Science, Graphic and Web Design. Kajinga Patricia Cabongo, Associate of Science. Katerina. Katerina Campbell, Associate of Science, Psychology. Okay. Jackie Ponce, Associate of Arts. Jasmine Felder, Associate of Arts, Philosophy. Chaden Tochi Meror, Associate of Arts. Jesse Richmond, Associate of General Studies.
Jennifer Nava Correa, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice. Joanne Brown, Associate Degree and General Business Certificate. Jennifer Lopez, Nurse Aid Certificate. Geraldine Soriano, Associate of Arts. Jarell Gillum, Associate of Arts, Sociology. Jessica Peña Uc, Associate of Arts. Jessica Martinez Lopez, Nurse Aid Certificate. Jennifer Rodriguez, Associate of Applied Science, Accounting. Jessica Vo, Associate of Arts. Jessica Poole, Associate of Arts. Jessica Arisinos, Real Estate Certificate. John Balargen, Construction Estimating Certificate, Construction Supervision Certificate. Tracy Hinderberg, Hinderberger, Associate of General Studies. Adriana Rui, Associate of Arts. Ariana Rui, Associate of Arts. Winter Renz, Associate of Arts. Tyler Filipich, Associate of Arts. Winnie Mumbari, Associate of Arts, Business. <laughs> Tiffany Hicks, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education Director Certificate. Tierra Zuniga, Associate of Arts. Yadira Pantoja, Early Childhood Education Director Certificate. Yesenia Blanco, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education and Early Childhood Education Entry Certificate. Vanessa Cambre Pena, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Valerie Robles, Associate of Arts. Verlene Garcia, Associate of General Studies. Wunseo Kondi Akara, Associate of General Studies. Veronica Anita Jelino, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal. Tina Owens, Associate of Arts, Elementary Education. Triana Sanders, Associate of General Studies. Kendall Barber, Associate of Arts. Viviana Casillas, Associate of General Studies. Marina Hernandez, Associate of Translation and Interpretation. Juanita Diaz, Associate of Applied Science and Human Resources Management Certificate. Abril Magallanes, Phlebotomy Certificate.
Kapolei Gaylor, Associate of Applied Science Network Security. Gabrielo Mapas, Associate of Arts. Brian Alvarado, Associate of General Studies. <laughs> Tani Saft, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Dat Duong, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Vanessa Galvez, Certificate Certified Nursing Assistant. Ella Yassin, Translation Interpretation Certificate. Shelly Maddox, Associate of Science, Paralegal. Leonel Arajo Oante, Associate of Arts in Business. <laughs> Maliatoa Fifita, Associate of Science. Adriel Gonzalez, Associate of General Studies. Daniela de la Cruz Larin, Associate of General Studies. Nadia Gonzalez, General Studies. Blucinda Spivey, Elementary Education. Jocelyn Flores, Associate of Arts. Vivian Cervantes, Associate of Applied Science, Paralegal. Joseph Rolad, Post-Production Film. Astrid Aroyave Ospina, Translation and Interpretation. Davis Gonzalez, Translation and Interpretation. Alan Morales Gonzalez, Associate of General Studies. Jenny Mueller, Associate of Applied Science, Screenwriting Directing. Ayani Aguilar, Associate of Science. Susana Gonzalez Estrada, Phlebotomy Certificate. Merari Toro, Phlebotomy Certificate. Simone Galapse, Associate of General Studies. Ruth Tharpla, Associate of Arts. Richard Lamb, Associate of Applied Science, Networking. Sabrina Barsingi, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education and Early Childhood Education Infant Toddler Supervisor Certificate. All right, Ren. Ren Solkim, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Raisa Goko, Associate of General Studies. Rose Deering, Associate of Arts, Studio Art. 
Ruben Morshing, Construction Superintendent Certificate. Samantha Anderson, General Business Certificate. Reginald L. McCrary, Business Human Resources Certificate. Rosa Baez, Associate of Science. Samantha Brogan, General Business Certificate. Raylan Lloyd, Associate of Science. Raven Williams, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Ruby Gomez, Associate of Arts. Renato Gomez, Associate of Arts, English. Kenza Casise, Associate of General Studies. Kiara Magadan, Associate of Arts, Criminal Justice. Kristen Gutierrez Valdez, Associate of Arts. Kenya David Rodriguez Torres, Associate of Applied Science, Applied Technology. Kima Cole, Associate of General Studies. Kenya Cheveria Carrillo, Associate of Art Psychology. <laughs> Kelly Russell, Construction Superintendent Certificate. <laughs> Kaylin Pereira, Associate of General Studies. Kimberly Caceres, Associate of Arts, Business. <laughs> Kenneth Favela, Associate of Science. <laughs> Caitlin Hagen, Associate of Arts. <laughs> Katie Milla, Associate of Arts. Kione Nu, Associate of General Studies. Kelsey Lambel, Real Estate Certificate. Kimberly Ramirez, Nurse Aid Certificate. Kiana Samuel, Associate of General Studies. Nathaniel Felton, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Acting, Directing for the Screen. Nelly Grosso, Associate of Arts, Political Science. Navea Luhan, Associate of Arts. Monica Jamison, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Michelle Kwok, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Nathan Romero, Associate of Arts, Business. <laughs> Miriam Hernandez, Associate of General Studies. Michelle Valdez, Translation and Interpretation, Medical Certificate. Nueth Vu, Associate of Arts, Business. Mizrak Abebe, Associate of Science. Morgan Winfrey, Associate of Science. Natalie E. Paredes Vasquez, 
nurse aide certificate, and phlebotomy patient care technician. You got this. Nancy Uritia Perez, Associate of Science. Faustina Owusia, Associate of Arts, Business. Lauren Roby, Associate of General Studies and Phlebotomy Certificate. Laura Thompson, Associate of Science. Lisbeth Portillo Sanchez, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Cinematography, Videography. Lizeth Espinosa de los Monteros, Associate of Science. Lucy Rivera, Associate of General Studies. Layla Davis, Associate of Arts Psychology. Lau Marial, Associate of Arts. Taryn Anderson, Associate of Arts Business. Taylor Ramirez, Associates of Arts English. Tanya Reeves, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Sonia Cobos Astorga, Associate of Science. Talia Tubbs, Associate of Arts. Temuge Ganbad, Associate of General Studies. Tess Vargas, Associate of Arts. Susana Reyes Brito, Construction Superintendent Certificate and Construction Estimating Certificate. Susana Mardoyan, Associate of Science. Mm -hmm. Sarai Harmon, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Talia Williams, Emergency Medical Technician Basic Certificate. Sydney Carrero, Associate of Applied Science, Graphic and Web Design. Teresa Ramos Aleman, Associate of Arts. Taylor Hicks, Associate of Arts and Early Childhood Education Director Certificate. Sterling Baston, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Post Production. Maria Castillo Sierra, Associate of Arts. Luis Garcia Cornejo, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Mackenzie Wiggins, Associate of Arts. Malise Cooper, Associate of Arts. Mabelit Estrada Hernandez, Associate of Arts Business. Lori Beth Fontes, Associate of Arts. Lizette Gomez, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Larry Ward Jr., Computer Creative Tools Certificate. Sarah Kornrumpf, Business Human Resources Certificate.
Zeta Costin, Associate of Arts Communication. Sammy Baker, Associate of Arts Psychology. Charlene Azondecon, Associate of IT Tech and Computer Basic Networking and Security Certificate. <laughs> Simone Fur, Associate of Applied Science, Cybersecurity. Samuel Garcia Jr., Associate of Arts. Sayat Teklmariam, Associate of Arts, Political Science. Sara Gargum, Associate of Science, Biology. Samira Janit, General Business Certificate. Sofia Fernandez Espinosa, Associate of Arts. Sergio Landaverde, Associate of General Studies. Melinda Howard, Real Estate Certificate. Sidika Sanjel, Associate of Applied Science, Cybersecurity. Marlene Kima, Real Estate Certificate. Maria Corbaya, Translation and Interpret Interpretation Medical Certificate. Mercedes Lopez, Associate of Arts. Martha Thomas, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Myra Malsam, Film Video Media, Post-Production Certificate. Mariana Delgado Nunez, Associate of General Studies. Mercedes Hudson Kimmel, Associate of Arts, History. Maricela Ortiz, Associate of General Studies. Mariana Villanueva, Associate of Arts, Business. Miriam Hassani, Associate of Science. Melissa Jacqueline Perez Ortiz, Early Childhood Education Infant Toller Supervisor Certificate. <laughs> okay, little twirl. Megan Anise Ray, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Acting, Directing for the Screen. Mercedes Ladron de Guevara, Nurse Aid Certificate. Melody Harris, Associate of Science. Paige Black, Associate of General Studies. Nikhil Christensen, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Science. Rachel Brandorf. Associate of Applied Science Paralegal and Paralegal Certificate. Noel Fancher, Associate of Applied Science, Diesel Power Mechanics. Oludu Rotime, Ola, Associate of Arts. 
Owen Dodson, Associate of General Studies. Peter Wabi, Associate of Applied Science, Film, Video, Media, Post-Production. Rachel Inch, Associate of Science. Pa Mei, Associate of Arts, Elementary Education. Osmara Cepeda Ramos, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Pascal Manga, Associate of Applied Science Programming. Onyebuchi Nwoke, Associate of Arts, Communication. Congratulations. Okay, everyone. Well, congratulations, graduates. Now, CCA family, I'm sure you can tell to my right, your left, you can tell how backed up we are. But listen, let me tell you the reason why we're so backed up. We have set a new record today. We have our largest graduating class of concurrent enrollment graduates today. Outstanding. Outstanding. So what we're going to do is play a little music and give them a moment to make their way through. So bear with us. The reason why we have a grass area in the back is because like myself and my children are here, they can run back there and have themselves a good time. So give us a few minutes to finish and we will conclude the commencement. One second, please.
Let's make some noise for our very last graduate that just took the photo. All right, here we go. Congratulations, graduates. You may now move your tassels from right to left. CCA faculty, instructor, staff, special guests, family, and friends, I now present to you the Community College of Aurora's graduating class of 2022. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, you're going to have to find that hat now. Graduates, you are now members of the Community College of Aurora Alumni Association, and you will now forever serve as an attestation of the transformative power of community colleges. Please continue to be active, an active part of our beloved CCA. We now need you to help us lead the way for others. Today, we recognize the many individuals and champions that have dedicated themselves to your journey. Will the faculty and instructors of the Community College of Aurora please stand? And please remain standing. It was your instruction, your assessments, your defined learning outcomes that challenged, strengthened, and prepared the minds of our graduates. Thank you for your dedication, your sacrifice, and commitment to provide high quality instruction to our students. We thank you. You may now be seated. Thank you so much, faculty instructors. We also have several retirees that aren't necessarily with us on today that are faculty instructors and we honor them as well. Will the members of our staff and administration and governance body of the Community College of Aurora please stand? We have several of our volunteers out here working as well. Please remain standing. It was your service and care that created the infrastructure for the onboarding continuance belonging and ultimate completion of our students guided pathways. Thank you for your dedication, your sacrifice and commitment to provide high quality student support for our students. Special congratulations and gratitude to Dr. Chris Ward, who I believe still may be here, who's retiring today, 22 years of service to the Community College of Aurora. We also have Angie Tiedelman, who as well, who is retiring, who has served this institution. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, staff. Thank you. You may be seated. A very special thank you to all those who worked tirelessly to, tirelessly to bring today's graduation to fruition. Graduates, the individuals that fear the chairs and lawn behind you and around you are the family members, the loved ones, and supporters that stood with you through your educational endeavors. Now is an opportunity for you to honor them. Graduates, please turn around and give those who cared for you and stood with you a round of applause. All right, we come to our close. CCA, now it is time for your final charge and closing. Graduates, I encourage you to be the change. Be the change that our world so desperately needs. Know that there is nothing or no one that can stop you from your achieving your goals, dreams, and aspirations but you. So what does this mean? This means that you owe it to those you love, yourself, your ancestors, to embrace the fullness of who you are and what you are yet to become. You know, earlier as I was sharing a bit of the history of the Community College of Aurora, 
There's a part to the story I didn't share with you until now. Even after CCA was established in 1983, no funds were immediately allotted by the state to the institution to create its own physical campus. The Center Tech and Lowry campuses as you see today did not exist. Did CCA allow this reality to prevent the realization of nearly three previous decades of collective hard work to stop its progress? Absolutely not. Faculty and instructors immediately began holding classes at libraries, parks, high schools, the Lowry Air Force Base, child care facilities, East Park Plaza, and many other public locations. Affectionately, CCA became known in this community and around the state of Colorado as the College Without Walls. Graduates, you stand on the shoulders of those who refuse to take no for an answer. You stand on the shoulders of those who fought to ensure that one day someone whom they would never have the opportunity to know would have the privilege to pursue social and economic mobility within their own community. CCA, may now your dreams forever be without walls. Free to grow, free to succeed, and free to prosper. At this time, family and friends, please remain seated until the recessional of the stage party is complete. Graduates, please remain seated. The recessional may begin. Thank you. your day celebrating your success. Congratulations.